Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd start the video off with just a, a little uh, quick snippet of what we have uh, on the pegs uh, currently when it comes to main lines. So those those cars that you that you just saw uh, have been popping up here and there. Uh, so that's sort of the cases that we're looking at now. Um, sort of anything from B, C, maybe D. Um, I, I'm not 100 percent sure because on the short cards we can't really tell if you turn them over. Um, the the, the code cases aren't, aren't printed on the cards, like with the US cards. So if you don't find the, the regular treasure hunt in the case, you're not always exactly sure as to which ones are um, from the specific case or just leftovers from the previous one. Uh, but at least we're getting 2024 cars um, locally now. Uh, this week I thought I'd just do, a, do an old-fashioned uh, haul video and show you some of my pickups uh, from the last three month, month and a half or so. Uh, some of uh, yeah, some of them I've, I've had for, for a while, been sitting on them for a while. Uh, it's just the odd car that I picked up here and there, um, and then some of them uh, are fairly recent. Um, so if I had to do it in chronological order, um, I'll, I actually picked up. We we have started getting these uh, Boulevard sets. So this is the um, I know there's a very new wave that's only really starting to. Uh, to hit the shells in the US at the moment. So this would be uh, two, three waves back, but we got them in reverse order. So that's the, that's the one that we're looking at. So, so if it focuses. Um, so you may notice that I have had some of these cars uh, in previous episodes already. Um, yeah, we got the, the second to last um, wave first, and then the third to last one uh, has only recently um shown up here we're just happy that we're getting them i don't we, nobody nobody's complaining about that nobody's complaining about the order as long as we start getting them more regularly uh no complaints here and then this one obviously is the banger from that set the yellow porsche 930 um yeah very clean it's a nice color love the wheels uh it's it's a it's a really cool clean version uh of the porsche and then also sticking with the boulevards, like I said, I, I try and tend to pick up uh, the odd boulevard car here and there. Uh, the Advan uh, AE86, uh, the Trueno. Uh, so yeah, I thought, well, if I couldn't get the Advan Skyline uh, in the recent drop, just a bit steady, um, I'll go for Go for second prize and uh, get myself that uh, that Advan AE86. Really liking this one. This is one of my favorites. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorites uh, of the AE86s. Um, there are a couple. Obviously, there were a few in car culture um, as well. So yeah, but I think I I prefer this one. Um, Try to leave the best for last. So let, what's also been showing up um, is the new uh, anniversary set. I really like this uh, this color combination that they have going this year. It uh, just stands out a lot more than probably most of the previous ones. Uh, this one I just got, I I, um, I don't have anything against the the Honda N six hundred. But it is usually the one that's left on the pegs, uh, along with the the tuned Silverado. I, I don't really like that one. But I got this in a blind box. So I ordered it from an online retailer. Uh, but for the price, I mean, it's I, I paid less for this than what what main lines go for uh, on the pegs here. So I, I didn't really care. I did, didn't get to pick the model, but I didn't really care which one I got, as uh, long as it wasn't the the tuned Silverado. Um, I really don't like that one. But uh, yeah, looking to pick up a couple more. It does look like we're going to be getting them on our pegs in stores. So uh, might pick up like the Mercury, uh, the Comet, and what other one? Um, the, the 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 Chase one is the Raijin Express. Uh, obviously, the colors are inverted, so it has more of that uh, rose gold all over, and then the the I don't know what you call this sort of a turquoise or uh, teal um finish uh it has has the trim in that teal finish thing um the Toyota Land Cruiser is quite popular but I'd probably pick up the Bronco next um I quite like the uh quite like the lines on the Bronco the newer Broncos 
um, overall. I know Matchbox has done a few as well, like those as well. Uh, so yeah, like those. Those are, are quite cool. Uh, and then uh, pop culture cars. I picked up two pop culture cars. Those, uh, the, both of these, also in store finds, not not from a local importer. So there's your very cool, very popular, cool combi in in the Barbie colors as a all pink interior with the pink rims. Uh, this one does have a a torn hook, um, but I got this at, at our Toys R Us. Um, and was quite surprised to find the cool combi. Usually cool combis they don't last on our shelves. Uh, so quite surprised to find one and I paid a little less for it because of the damage. Uh, so happy to pick that one up. Um, I'll keep an eye out for one with a better with a better card and maybe open up this one at a later stage. But for now, um, yeah, I mean if it's, if it's any risk of tearing off, I just pop it into a protector. Uh, but yes, cool combi is always a plus. Um, always very popular a little VW bus we like our VWs here and then one of my favorites it doesn't seem to be as popular with everybody else but I like it I have an affinity for Batman and Batmobiles in particular um, this is the first uh, Batmobile so this was a uh, two, two, two years ago I think was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive they had it in those wide on one of those wide cars. Uh, I'll see if I can find a picture. I probably will find a picture of it. Um, it was on a, one of those really old retro wide cars with the pin uh, that used to have the pin in it as well. And it was a, a Comic Con exclusive. And I must say, I like I like this uh, way better. Um, I like this. I like the card art on this one better. I like the way the colors go together. Um, uh, I, I I hate I hate this new uh, how they have the gold and the silver to 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 sort of, sort of separate or designate what what series um, you're looking at what sort of premium you're looking at so you're looking at either full premiums the gold logos or they still have the black and white logos for just just the normal ones and they have those silver ones for the year uh, for those retail exclusives. I don't know who come who came up with this design, but it just I hate it. It's it's it just uh, I don't know. I I just like the more modern flat graphic that they had in black and white. It just on like on certain cars, it just doesn't it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit with the artwork. It actually detracts from the artwork quite a bit, in my opinion. Um, but in this case. Luckily, it does blend in perfectly with the um, with the card art on the Batmobile card. Um, so I think overall, as a package, this one I like this one. This one's pretty cool, um, and it's uh, yeah. I I mean I've always liked the the comic book crossovers, uh, and it's something a little different. Uh, I I think overall they've stepped up their game. Uh, Mattel when it comes to the what used to be the old entertainment line it's it's now sort of blended into the uh, into the pop culture line so so it's all going to be called pop culture um, it looks like some of the newer stuff is is also hitting our our shelves and going to be uh, coming in more regularly so that's a good thing as well uh, these are the only two that I've picked up for now um, because it's uh, quite a wide variety of um, uh, genres or sub subsets that they they cover. I mean, there's usually a Forza car in there, a Gran Turismo car in there, some sort of a movie or comic car. Um, I've I've seen some pictures of of the coming uh, waves, and it looks like this year is going to be a particularly good year for for pop culture slash entertainment cars. And then. Um, Apologies for that. Sorry, quickly had to format the, the card. Uh, moving on to the last last few cars. Um, same retailer where I got the, the pop culture cars. Um, they usually also stock the car culture. They have, have had the, the last few waves of the car culture ones. Uh, that's where I got the um, the race day cars. Some of them when I picked up, just picked up the odd car. Uh, the latest one for us is the 
the Hot Wheels off-road set. I uh, picked up the the Range Rover, uh, the, the old Range Rover. I just love old Landys with uh, any sort of authentic deco. Uh, that's always a a big plus. Um, so this one was an automatic pickup for me. It's actually the only one in the set that I, that I really wanted. Uh, but I went ahead and picked up the Prado, the Toyota. Um, usually I wouldn't have taken this one. Uh, it's not really my scene and it's, yeah, I don't know. Um, not, not too, too much into 4x4s, but on the same day and the same pegs, front and center and the front of the pegs, I walked up and saw the old blacked out car and thought, hey, that doesn't look like the G-Wagon. And it wasn't this. So this turned out to be my, to be my very first uh, car culture chase uh, zero out of five um, so I so I just had to pick up the regular counterpart to to get the pair and um, yeah these these haven't been been a common occurrence the chases uh, here in South Africa I haven't um, haven't seen many people find the chases in the wild here uh, although I have seen quite a few people find this one now, um, so I think just by sheer, sheer volume of, of uh, uh, pop, cult uh, pop culture, uh, car culture um, stock that's been coming in has meant that there's been more opportunity for guys to find the chase. Uh, I don't know if, if there's some odd chance that 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 they are distributed um, a bit better per case. I don't know if the the ratio has been changed so that there are more chases in the in, in the boxes or in the sets. I'm not sure, um, but we yeah I've I've seen quite a few people find this specific one uh, in the wild last couple of last couple of weeks. So those are my finds for the last uh, month or so. Uh, next week we'll uh, we'll have a look at another another sort of type of crossover that that Hot Wheels. Um, have been doing uh, that's that's the plan at least uh, un unless something else uh, jumps up um, the other thing that's also going on is obviously the uh, the convention is is uh, at the time of recording and they were still busy with the convention um, so I might do a quick feature on that in between I don't have a lot of convention cars I have three uh, of which two Two of them are doubles, so it's actually two different ones only. I used to have a third one, but I've I sold that. I didn't. Um, I don't really collect convention cars. Um, no real specific reason other than that it's, it's pr usually priced um, uh, priced way too high, uh, too quickly uh, for me to get what I can consider a good price to get in at a good price, um, unless it's a model that I really really like. Um, I usually have to pause, um, but yeah, maybe we'll have a quick look at, at some of the convention cars. I'll have a look at what previous they have there. Uh, usually the guys wait until they come, come back from the convention and then sort of release their preview videos afterwards uh, when they've had time to edit the footage. Um, so I'll have a look at what, what everybody uh, uh, got up to at the convention and we'll maybe have a look, a, a quick look at that. Okay, I'll see you guys again next week. Keep up. Well. Cheers.